G'day, I'm Jamie from the Lucky Fig Farm, and this episode is about how to prune olive trees. So the pruning of olive trees has some differences compared to the pruning of other fruiting trees. However, the overall goal remains the same, that being opening the tree up to increase sunlight and airflow, allowing better access for when it comes time to picking the fruit, and also it encourages renewed growth in the spring. So one of the main differences with olive trees compared to most other fruiting trees is its growth habit. Olive trees have a tendency to grow multiple trunks and grow into a sprawling bushy shape. And they also tend to have a lot of growth below the scaffold fork down on the root crown. So this is all in opposite to what we're seeking with the open centered pruning shape of fruit trees, where we're opening the center up to allow more sunlight and airflow we're having three to five scaffold branches evenly spaced 360 degrees around the tree, all at a 45 to 60 degree angle. So with olive trees, opening it up, increasing the airflow helps them because they are a self-pollinating tree in the wind. And they use the wind to do their pollinating. Also, branches that grow in the center and that aren't receiving any sunlight don't produce any leaves, flowers or fruit. So they're of no use to us if we want to pick the fruit. And also one of the differences with olive trees is that they bear their fruit on last year's growth. So we have 15 olive trees in a row along the back of the property line. Calamata and Manzanillo. These are both table eating olives. We purchased these with the intention of preserving the fruit at some time. They've been in the ground for about five years now. We haven't used the fruit yet, they've just been left for the parrots, but in the next fruiting season, I'll be starting to uh, preserve them. Now I've got the perfect climate for olive trees. We have a temperate Mediterranean climate, uh, plant hardiness zone 11. So with that, plus the gravelly soil, they've just completely thrived here without little assistance. But now that I'm coming to look at preserving the fruit, I just want to maximize it with the pruning. So we're pruning our olive trees in late winter to early spring. This puts it after the olives have been picked and well before any new growth starts. And we're starting our pruning with the must-haves, which are removing any dead, damaged and diseased branches, removing any branches that are crossing over, removing vertical branches going directly upwards, removing any branches that are growing from the root crown and also any branches that are growing down towards the ground we can't have them in contact and in the center of the tree we're going to be opening it up by removing any branches that are growing inwards so the tools we'll be using for pruning any branch thinner than the thickness of your thumb a pair of crossover secateurs or if you needed added length or added strength a long handled pair of secateurs and any branch thicker than the thickness of your thumb, a pruning saw. However, olive trees can have quite thick branches. And if you're taking down anything quite large, you may want a small chainsaw or an electric pruning saw. Like with all of our tools, we need to keep them clean and sharp. But it's quite important that we sterilize our cutting blades with trees because we can transport disease from one to the next. So ideally, they're actually sterilized between trees. And here we have some dead branches, everything dead gets removed. And there's a damaged branch here, this will have to be cleanly removed.
So just in here, these branches have some scale on them. So these diseased branches all need to be removed. So just in here, we've got a couple of branches crossing over each other. We don't want this because where the branches cross, they rub against each other, and this can cause a wound in the tree, which opens it up to disease. Also, it just contributes to the clustering of the tree when we really want to open it up. So here's an example of the water shoots growing beneath the main scaffolds of the tree coming off the root crown. All this vertical growth needs to be removed. So you can see with this tree here, there's a lot of branches heading towards the ground. We don't want this, so we take off everything that's heading downwards. We don't want it making contact with the ground where it can pick up disease, and it's not easy to access down there either. That's the pruning of this tree. And as you can see, we've really opened up the center of the tree, giving it that open prune shape, allowing maximum amount of sunlight into the tree and all around, maximum amount of airflow. It's really gonna give it its best opportunity for fruiting this next coming season and really improve its chances of being a strong, healthy tree. We've removed all dead, damaged and diseased branches, all branches crossing over, everything growing vertical, Branches growing beneath the main scaffold split here. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Leave any comments in the comment section. And please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos.